Welcome back to your daily grip on God's Word. Today we are going to be in Genesis chapter 30. I titled this, Does Our Life Bless Others? The verses I chose are 29 and 30. Let me read those to you now. Here's my G out of God's Word. Jacob replied, You know how hard I've worked for you and how your flocks and herds have grown under my care. You had little indeed before I came, but your wealth has increased enormously. The Lord has blessed you through everything I've done. But now, what about me? When can I start providing for my own family? Here's my R, my reveal. If we are faithful and obedient to God, even those around us will be blessed because of our faithfulness and obedience. In this narrative, it sounds like Laban went from nothing to having a lot. Uh, it does say in there that uh, Laban didn't have very much when Jacob came. After Jacob worked for him for 20 years. Uh, both uh, grew their flocks and everything enormously. Uh, pretty incredible. Here's my eye, my implementation. The key is being obedient. Just like Jacob, we must repent, put our head down, and work, and allow God to restore us and bless us as he sees fit. Remember, Jacob had to flee Esau and moved 500 miles away to be safe. God restored him, blessed him, and blessed those around him and grew his family. Um, Jacob ran away to spare his life after his mother Rebecca tricked uh, Isaac into blessing Jacob, stealing that from Esau. Esau was angry enough to want to kill him. Uh, Jacob moved away and for 20 years he began to amass this wealth, uh, all because of God's blessing. Here's my P, my prayer. Thank you that you redeem and restore us, Father. May we be obedient and faithful in all things. We love you, Lord. Amen. Um, again, God is sovereign. And here he used this time to um, truly bless Jacob uh, and grow him. And man, what a, what a story of redemption and restoration that happened here. Um, I pray that if you find yourself in this situ situation, that you'll just be obedient, whatever God tells you to do, and God will redeem you and restore you. Let me pray for us on our way out. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for these stories that you give us to remind us of your redemptive plan, your restorative plan for mankind. I pray, Father, that as we go through life, we would bless and honor you with all things and in all things and that you would continue to guide and direct our hearts and our steps lord we love you and thank you in jesus name amen continue to send me those verses love reading those and catching up with you um, and i look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow have a blessed day